Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today's video is going to be my entry to the NYX Face Awards 2019 Australian competition. I have watched these competitions since they started and I can't believe I'm finally entering it. So hopefully I make it in and you can come along with me for this journey. This makeup look requires little to no prep work. What I'm basically going to be doing first is creating that feather mohawk you saw in the intro. All you need is a glue gun, some feathers, and a little bit of wire. I bought this feather tree, which is basically a bit of wire with feathers coming off, and I am just building up the feathers on there. So I'm taking the end of the feather and just sticking it on there. And basically, it's going to kind of look a little bit like a feather duster by the time you're finished with it. Now this makeup look is a harpy. If you don't know what a harpy is, it's kind of like a cross between a night elf and um, just like a really fierce bird um, with talons, super exciting. And I got this idea, I'll insert the picture, I found it on Pinterest, but I've been searching for um, something to create this look. I love harpies, I love them in World of Warcraft, so I thought I would just give it a go. Now first we're gonna put in some contact lenses and I'll just show you my hair in preparation for the bald cap as well. Make sure you load up your hair with Vaseline before you stick down your bald cap, otherwise your hair is definitely gonna get caught up in this latex. So I'm using a latex bald cap that I created. It was a little bit small because my latex was a bit old but that's okay, I still managed to get it down. You can buy bald caps, but sometimes the edges can be a little bit thick. So I like to make my own. If you wanna see a video on this, just let me know down in the comments and I can definitely show you how. I was originally going to make one out of plastic cap, which is very easy to blend away, but I didn't want to damage my nails because I am going away and the acetone will definitely ruin them so next time I will definitely show you how to get that done so I'm just sticking latex all around the parameters of my face and I'm just going to use that to stick the bald cap down it's good because latex and latex glue together really well then very carefully around my ears I'm going to cut a hole in the bald cap. Now, ideally you wanna use smaller scissors, but I didn't have any on hand, so I'm just being extremely careful with those larger scissors. I'm gonna peel my ear through and then cut away any excess latex there. Then we're gonna glue down behind the bald cap as well. Just make sure everything sticks down nicely. Now I'm gonna do the same thing all around the other side and behind my head. If you have someone to help you glue your board cap down, that's awesome, but I didn't. So what I'm gonna do now is basically cover that edge. So I'm gonna go over with latex, hair dry it, powder it, and then do that a couple times. Didn't get a clip of it, but basically what I'm doing is layering that latex so you get less of a jump between the edges because sometimes blending latex with alcohol can kind of make it super obvious where the line is. Then we're gonna go in with some paint. This is water activated paint. I mixed a couple colors to get this. I mixed a light green, a brown, and a white to get this kind of murky swamp water green color. I chose this as it was similar to the picture and it gives such an awesome contrast to the red feathers that we're gonna use. I basically have no foundation on or anything underneath. I'm just going straight in and covering basically my whole face and my bald cap and behind my ears and inside my ears and down my neck and on my chest. Any sort of exposed skin, I'm going to cover that with the aqua paint. Now, make sure you get it nice and thick because if it is a little bit watery, it's not gonna be as pigmented as we want it. I don't show you, but I'll go over my face again just so it can be a little bit darker like my body is. I managed to pick up a little bit more product when I went back over, which was good. This is all sped up. This body paint and final look took about 
four hours to complete, which is not too bad for, <laughs> for what it is. Okay, now we're going to do some highlighting. Basically, I used white paint to just go over the areas. Try not to make it too wet because it will lift off the paint. So I have a little bit of product on there and you can see I'm blending it out with the back of the sponge. Now, I took off a little bit too much so I go back in with that green. But I keep switching the wet side to the dry side of the sponge to get that blend. Now this is just going to be highlighting any risen areas of my face. So generally where you would always put your concealer, that's where this white paint would go. And then we're going to do some chest contouring as well. Now I'm using a black textured sponge and I'm going to go over my whole body, face, everywhere again with brown paint. And I'm going to speckle this on and you'll see in some places where I have put down too much paint accidentally I go back in with the dry sponge and that will just kind of lift some of that paint back off that way it's not too dark in certain areas the reason I do this is because it kind of makes the paint look less flat You'll notice when I painted it all down or whenever you do your foundation and you don't put any other colors on like blush or contour or anything, your face looks very flat. So what this does is it kind of adds pigment back into the skin. So kind of like freckles or just you'll notice that your skin isn't the same color. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going back in with a darker green and I'm doing the exact same thing as I did with the brown. I'm just going over all the areas of my body with the green. This again just adds a little bit more dimension to the face and it's not just going to be brown and, and a flat green. There's going to be different colored speckles in there as well. I really really love how this looked. It just looked really fun. Now I'm going in with a orange textured sponge. This one isn't as textured as a black one, so I can pack on a little bit more product. And I'm going back over those areas um, with like a little bit of a highlight, but I'm keeping it a bit more speckled this time. That way it just kind of breaks it up a little bit and it doesn't look like I've just whacked on a whole heap of color. And I found that this really, really brightened the face. It definitely gave it some lightness which I needed and then when we go in with the contouring later it really just pulls it all together and I'm highlighting my collarbones and then down the middle of my chest again just to bring out some highlights I also highlight my shoulders because they're quite lifted okay now I'm going in with a brown contour this one is just like an eyeshadow that I've used. So I'm just going to apply that underneath the cheekbones and really work that in. And, and then again on the other side. How you would normally contour is how I'm doing it, just a little bit more dramatic. Then I'm going to go in around my collarbones in all the deep parts there and what this does is it's just going to bring my my collarbone forward and just make it look like my skin's a little bit more sallow i really like how this looked and then i'm going to go contour my nose i'm going to make this quite dark because i want it to be super obvious that i've done it i wanted this to be a really nice pretty but also kind of evil, scary harpy. I thought that would be really fun. You can see me using a clean brush to whack away any excess color as well. Then I'm gonna go in over the bald cap on the sides of the head. And basically I just wanted to add a little bit of depth there because I felt like the bald cap was just looking a little bit flat. So on each side of the head, I just put in some like contour marks there as well. 
Then I'm going to put concealer all over my eyes to prep for some eyeshadow because I wanted her to be beautiful so we did a nice smoky eye. I'm going to go in with a deeper red eyeshadow and just pack that all into the eyelid area. I don't really care too much about being neat because it is a character makeup and I feel like when you're doing really dark blown smoke, smoked out looks it doesn't really matter too much. And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and really work that out. Going underneath the eye with a smaller brush, same thing. Just really getting that depth um, there and that shape that I want. So I wanted it to be nice and smoky in our uplifted wing sort of shape. Then I'm going to go in with some black eyeshadow. And again, same thing, just really working that in to the crease and filling in my waterline with some black eyeshadow and then going on top of my eye with some black gel liner. This will give me a nice base for the black. And then I'm going to pop on some lashes. Now I'm taking that same red that I used on my eyes and I'm going to go around the perimeters of my mouth just to make me look a little bit more smoky and evil-like. I find that that really pulled the eye makeup together with the rest of the face as well when I shaded with the red. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the black eyeshadow as well. Nothing too dark. I just wanted to give my eyebrows some shape. I didn't really want to do anything like super dramatic. I didn't want them to take any focus away from the dark eye look. So I just kept that the same. Okay, now taking that same red shade, I am going to contour where I put that dark brown shadows around my collarbone in the center part of my neck there. And it again is just bringing those deeper red rich tones down to the rest of my body so it flows. Then I'm going to highlight my inner corner, outer corner, my cheekbones, everything. Like I said, I wanted to keep her more beautiful and um, pretty rather than like an ugly harpy kind of thing. Because I find that they're more monstrous and scary when they look pretty. I'm kind of lured in by it, if that makes sense. Then what I'm going to do is lay down some latex just in that hollow there and I'm going to apply some feathers like it's coming out of my skin. I just use the latex to glue down the feathers, nothing too fancy. If they come off you just stick them back down, super easy. The fluffier feathers kind of hide the latex as well. I did put on some around my boobs but of course I didn't show that because I didn't want to bring that area on camera. So now I'm just going up around my shoulder area and putting on some feathers there. And I do the same to each side. Really, really easy. Then I'm taking that feather mohawk we made and the little wire, I'm just sticking some sticky tape on that. And then I'm sticking it down onto my head using some tape. Now, if you were going to cover this, you would just use some liquid latex to glue down some feathers over that wire, and then it would actually look like it's coming out of your head. But I was just on my own, and no one's going to see that area, so I didn't do that for today. Then taking some black cream product and applying that all over my lips, just for some lipstick. And of course, that red is still there, so it kind of gives a smokiness to it. Very evil, very... Um, evil chic. <laughs> I really, really love how this turned out. Then I'm taking that red and pulling it into my bald cap and around my nose as well, just for some extra depth and dimension. That is it, guys. That is the final look. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you stick around. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.